So I've been asked now a few times, um, how do we become a member of the Church of Satan and what happens when you become a member of the Church of Satan? Uh, well, if I can answer how to become a member of the Church of Satan. Uh, just go to the Church of Satan website and the directions are there. Um, what happens when you become a member, I'm not really so sure of anymore. I mean, it's been, I, I became a member back in 94, 94, 95, and um, back then with the process that it was, is, you know, I'm sure that on some level it's it's based on, you know, your individual experiences, but uh, what happens nowadays, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's a similar process, but, you know, I I really can't tell you specifically. I mean, my, my experience might be different from yours and vice versa. What happened for me is um, uh, I filled out the application form, which I requested by mail. This is before the internet. Uh, and, um, yeah, I'm old. And uh, so I requested an application by mail. I got the application. And uh, I filled it out, sent to my 100 bucks. And they sent me back a psychological evaluation form. And it was pretty extensive. It had like 50 questions on it. My dog's being naughty. It has, it has like 50 questions on it, and you know, ranging from what do you, you know, if you had three wishes, what would they be? What is your favorite color? What is Satan to you? What is Satanism? Why do you want to join? Um, and then they had some oddball questions that you know you couldn't really figure out the relevance to, but obviously they're trying to, to determine if what you know your knowledge of Satanism and if you're a complete psycho or not or whatever, you know, and, and to, to pin down you know certain. Uh, latent traits in your personality that will be expressed coming out in certain questions. You know, if you're the satanic witch, I mean, you get a good idea of what those are. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I filled that out, I mailed that back in, and then they mailed me back another letter saying, hey, you have a good grasp and a uh, good concept of what Satanism is. Um, we'd like to consider you to be further involved in our organization. Um, please mail us some uh, pictures of yourself. And uh, they asked me something else. I, I don't remember exactly where I was now, but it had to do with pictures. So I mailed them some pictures. And uh, then they mailed me back another letter saying, okay, well, will you please, uh, you know, to be considered for further involvement, and we would like to consider you to be a repre representative in our area or in your area, um, will you please mail us a VHS copy of yourself, a video copy of yourself, talking about Satanism, you know, talking about yourself so that we can see how well you can articulate the fun fundamentals of Satanism and express yourself in our views. And, uh, yeah, this was before DVD and CD and computer, so this is all snail mail and this is on a VHS. Well, one, I didn't have a freaking VHS camcorder. Back then, those things were expensive, man. They were big bucks. They were like five, six hundred bucks. You know, I, I delivered pizzas when I was 18, so. And also, you know, at, at that time, I wasn't really interested in that type of involvement. I mean, I was kind of intrigued, but I, that really wasn't why I joined to become a, a Grand Poobah in the Church of Satan. I really just wanted to sign my name on the dotted line to show my affiliation. You know, that's pretty much it. And, um, you know, some days I wish I would have wish I would have followed through with that. You know, but at the same time, I mean, um, you know, I'm sure that option's still open to me if I, if I want to pursue it, but it's, uh, that was my personal experience anyway. Um, I'd be curious to know other members out there. I'd be curious to know what your experience was, if it was similar, if that's just a cookie cutter thing that everybody goes through, or if my experience was unique, or if yours is unique, whatever. So yeah, I'd like some feedback on that if anybody can uh, give me some. But yeah, that was my experience, you know, 15 years ago. And uh, yeah, there you go.